Thank you. I'm making this video. All right. Welcome to another review on. I didn't even set this set up. All right. Give me a second. There you go. So today I am reviewing Studio Series The Last Night Drift. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I haven't done anything related to toys, figures, Transformers, or Marvel. I've been doing Minecraft and Call of Duty. And i seen that people don't give a shit about that. And they prefer whatever the hell this is, right? Right? Yeah. So anyways, I am, yeah, doing this. This is unscripted. I'm going to make this as short as I can. So first off, we have these little shits. Their name, th this dude, you know, the T-Rex, I think his name is T, T something, right? Um, Perry, I think this dude is named Terry. Top, I think his name is Tops. And here we got this dude. Yeah, I admire his glory. But first, we're gonna take a look at the useless things in this stupid thing. <gasps> Fuck out of here. Fuck. Let's take a closer look at these dudes. Here is um, Tops. I th yeah, that's his name. He's he's pretty small. You know. Oh shit. Um, here. I just saw you. Here we got um, T Bone, T, Rexy. Um, this dude can open his mouth. And here we got um, this little dude. I like this one. You think? I think he looks cute. I think you can um, close his mouth. Barely. Now let's get to the actual figure. Here is The Last Night Drift from the worst Michael Bay movie of the, um, fifth trilogy. As you may see, I'm holding him with my hand because I don't feel like posing him. Never mind. So, he turns into a Mercedes because you can tell by the fucking logo. Um, the, it's better than the original release because the original release was terrible. The coloring of it. Um, he looks pretty accurate. This is a um, exclusive, I think. I bought it on eBay. I know it's on Amazon, so you want to cop this, then go ahead. It comes with this big sword. It's just a sword. I, I don't know what to say about it. It's it's new. The other two swords, I, I, I don't know where I put them. It has those little two things in its back. And yeah. So for posability, um, his legs can go forward. Not really back because of the backpack. I could do this. It could bend. Um, toes go in because of the transformation. You could do this with his arm. His arm can go like this. It's pretty dope. This thing is really flappy. His hand go in. You know how it is. Um, nose way swivel. Arms go out. Okay. Um, those two things in the back always pop out. His head can... Um, if the camera can like focus on him for a bit. His head can go up. Not really look down. His face is kind of sexy. I'm not going to lie. Um, you could do this with his head. Not for long because of his fucking beard. Anyways, I'm not going to transform it on camera. Because it's already been like um two years since the original came out. This is just like the original. So I'm not going to transform it. Uh, so car mode. So here's the car mode. Um pretty cool you know uh, yeah 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 swords if you have those other extra two swords it goes in there and you know there's little holes you already know that um it's really nice I, I didn't even attempt to do my best i mean this car is pretty dope you know the last night only thing i can't forgive about the last night is the dope ass cars that they brought you know it rolls okay i mean the wheels don't you know aren't the best uh comparison here's that fucking thing I never did the robot comparison, but just know he's pretty tall. You do it on your own time. I'm pretty sure you have the figure already. Um, here's a comparison with the sword. There's nowhere to put this, so toss it off to the side. I lost the other thing of this while I was transforming this, so don't blame me. Um, and here's the Lego thing. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day.